Hello everyone, today is our second transmission of the Drops of Wisdom in this new stage of the podcast shorts that we are going to have in Facebook as well and in Spotify and Apple Podcasts. You can find this Drop of Wisdom that we are going to review a book, a summary and a reflection in order to help you in the five pillars of health. As we know, today we are in the second week of 2022 and we are going to count them so that you really, really embrace them all and change the mindset of living a year, embracing whatever it brings. So how often do you question your life? That is our reflection to start. Are you used to staying quiet, accepting everything you listen, and don't even interact, question, or have curiosity for what is happening outside? What is the curiosity that you have? Because that is our best gift as children. It's an innate uh, quality that we are born with. We are always satisfying that hunger to know more about the world, to understand words, to understand behaviors, to start seeing how the choices are made because we don't know anything, the natural phenomena, everything that is happening around us is an all experience. It is being surprised by many things that are happening. That's how we learn about the world. And that's how we should be in the same lane, learning and constantly questioning what is happening. Keeping that critical and questioning mindset will always give you more knowledge and freedom than simply accepting what it is presented to you. And we are seeing more this uh, line of thought in the current world because the more we question everything that is happening in the chaotic external world, we can perceive more the incongruencies, we can perceive more everything that is happening. So that's what it's about, it's about questioning more. And one of the quotes that I loved from this uh, book is the more clearly measurable you make your objective, the easier it will be to plan out your argument. So make sure you know exactly what you are trying to achieve. The book is Doesn't Hurt to Ask by Trey Gaudi. And that's how we are going to achieve more things by having clarity in our lives, by understanding what is happening, by having a clear objective and creating more uh, coherence in the way we express things, creating more coherence in the way we think creating more coherence in the way we act, creating more coherence in everything that is surrounding us. By learning how to start a conversation and nudging other people in your direction, you can increase your argumentative power in almost every area of your private and professional life. And this relates a lot to what is happening outside because Remember what is right now dropping um, in the news and what is the direction that they are pointing us. So if we identify those things, we can clearly detach from the toxicity and the news and just live more our lives. So there is not a stupid question. Even if we were um, programmed to see it like that in the school years that we lived. Many of us were uh, not freely expressed in the school system. And many times, of course, when you live in that stage, children just laugh when you make a dumb question. But there are no dumb questions. Imagine someone asking you who wrote Hamlet because they don't know. Well, the question is a little bit revealing something about having you a knowledge gap. But imagine 
asserting that George Washington wrote Hamlet. That's even worse. So saying things just to uh, make an appearance or try to um, be fake, that's not the way to go. It's much better to address your own gaps and question more so that you really um, become unique in your own way so that you learn more and nothing is going to judge you but if you say something just trying to appear that you know everything or trying to uh, give a false perspective to people that's much more dangerous in terms of your own persona and in terms of the things of the things that people can uh, start thinking about you so just see it that way because the more we ask the more we know and figure out about the world real life persuasion is more about gently moving in the direction that you want to create more your conversation and that relates to the conversations that you have in your family and the conversations that you have about any kind of topic. The more you have um, persuasion in your own life, in your own beliefs, in terms of knowing what do you want to achieve, so having clarity on the things, the easier it will be for you to try to convince people to do the right thing. And that doesn't mean that it's always what you think. You should also be humble to accept the other point of view. That's why if you want to use questions to make a point, they should be based on facts and you should have evidence of what you are saying. Just like any other argument. For that to happen, you need to know where is the direction of the conversation, how to get there and how to take all of those questions with you. That's like being in an interview. When you are preparing yourself for an interview uh, for your job, it's much better that you arrive to this place with the knowledge that you know something about the company, you, you know something about the products, you know something about the things that they are performing and probably some uh, main product that they sell or uh, the main product that they are researching or about to launch. So be based on that is what is going to give you a lot more um, identification with things that you want to achieve. Generally speaking, there are two big categories of questions. First, we have the softball questions, which are easy questions and they have plenty of room to make uh, a point to have a, a healthy discussion. They are non-leading, so they can include words like who, what and when, allowing the person that you are going to question to guide the direction of their answer. That's much better than just trying to impose your own point of view. There is a popular saying that goes when you are in a hole and you notice that you are saying something wrong, stop digging because you are going to create more chaos. This definitely applies to persuasion. If you find yourself back into an argumentative corner, don't keep arguing as you did before. Don't try to prove your point. Don't, don't try to be right. Try to make the conversation rich and create knowledge and arrive with a direction, but also arrive with the humility that the conversation can be richer if you allow the other person to expose their own point of view. And you can learn even more from that. So those are the reflection points that we can have today. Those are the things that we can start applying in our lives to question more, to awaken curiosity as if we were children again, and to start envisioning our lives with a direction, 
what is it that you want to achieve in 2022? And that's why I also released that master class last Monday that you can still watch here in Facebook up until the end of January. And this was, of course, given to you so that you can allow yourself in this year to change the direction of your life with the membership of Living From Within that we are going to start on January 24th. The details, I will be posting them uh, in these days and I will post them in below the description of the masterclass so that you can subscribe and enter. You can enter at any point in 2022. Of course, it's much better if you start right now so that you can take the energy and the stamina of the new year into making a whole new 22 so that you can arrive to where you want. Thank you very much for your attention, for being here, and we will see each other next Wednesday. Thank you. Bye.